Hello and welcome to Route 85, our new show for you iOS developers. Thanks for coming, glad you could join us. So for this episode, I wanted to present you with a quick tip that was shared by Tom Van Letten on the Google Maps team. Um, now I would love to call this our tip of the week segment, but I don't think I commit to making these videos that often, so, uh, so it's a quick tip. And uh, thanks to Tom for sending it in. So for this example, let's say that I am building a card game app that uses standard playing cards. And within my playingcard.h file, I decide to create an enum for the suit. So here we go, looks pretty normal so far, right? And you know, down below, we'll store this as a property. Now let's say I wanted to write a method to do something based on this suit. Maybe different suits give me different point multipliers in our card game when we get to the scoring section. And so we'll need to write a method to convert these suits into point multipliers. Well, this seems like a pretty obvious case for a switch statement. So uh, we'll start to type it in here. We'll add in a case for spades, for hearts, diamonds, and clubs. And then we get to this default statement at the end and, huh, well, what should we do here? I mean, gosh, I can't think of a time we'd ever get to this, right? Like we've got all of our suits covered above. So it seems like if we get to this point, something bad is going on. But still, we should code defensively, right? So uh, maybe we'll throw an exception here. I'm going to add the comment, this should never happen. And then right below, we'll throw an exception because clearly our game is in a bad state. Well, anybody who has worked in software knows that simply adding the comment, this should never happen to your code, magically ensures that at some point in the future, that exact thing will happen. So let's go back to our card game and uh, our lead designer suddenly decides we need to have jokers in our game. Well, jokers are going to need their own suit. And uh, so maybe the engineer assigned to this task, well, they see that we need to add a joker to our enum, but you know, our code base has grown and maybe our engineer doesn't notice that the get point multiplier method um, among all of our other code, you know, also needs that enum. So uh, it doesn't get updated. Well, what happens? That's right, we hit the default statement, our code raises an exception and the whole thing crashes. Now, if you're lucky, this will get caught in testing while in development. If you're slightly less lucky, this will get caught by Apple during the approval process. And uh, if you're not lucky at all, it won't get noticed until it starts crashing on all of your players, probably at the time the press decides to start reviewing your game. Huh, that's unfortunate. So what can you do here? Well, the answer might be to do something that seems a little counterintuitive at first. I'm gonna go and remove this default block from the end of our switch statement. I, I know, it seems weird, right? Like I'm all nervous. My immediate reaction is, I, I wanna put that thing back. But now look what happens now that I have done this. Xcode is warning me before I even run this thing that the switch statement is now incomplete and I might wanna fix it. It's smart enough to know that I haven't covered all my options and it'll give me this nice warning. Uh, and in fact, in this case, ha, huh, no pun intended, I not only get a warning, but I also get an error because there are times my method no longer returns a float and my app won't even build. By the way, even better if you're using app code, hitting alt enter will give you this create missing switch cases statement, which will automatically spec out those missing code branches for you. That's pretty nice, huh? Oh, and for you Swifties out there, Swift is even more harsh. It upgrades that warning to an error and it won't let you create any switch uh, statement that isn't exhaustive. Of course, their recommended solution is to add a default clause, but as we've seen, that isn't always the best advice. Now, obviously, uh, you can't do this in all situations. If you're writing a switch statement based on an integer or say a text character, Xcode won't know whether you've covered all these cases or not. Um, and in fact, in, in these kinds of situations, uh, Xcode will complain correctly that you do need to add a default case. But if your switch statement is based on an enum and you don't think that default case should ever happen, drop it and let Xcode catch those errors for you, you know, before your players do. So there you go. Uh, thanks again to Tom on the Google Maps for iOS team for sending me the tip. But what about you? Do you have an idea that you think would make for a good quick tip? Send it in. You can email me at the address here. Uh, if we use it on the air, I will send you some swag. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe a t-shirt or a keychain or an iPhone 6 or... What's that? I'm sorry? Okay, okay. I've been told we don't have the budget for an iPhone 6. But we do have the budget for a t-shirt, so uh, maybe it'll be that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you keep coding, and I'll see you next time on Route 85.